Hello students I welcome you all to the Semstar online learning This is Muskan Parwar and today I am back with the ninth part of chapter 5 subtraction Children in the previous video we have learned about problem solving sums without borrowing Yes of three digit numbers in this video we will learn about three digit number with borrowing Okay so let's start first one In a book there are 210 pages. Ram has read 180 pages. How many pages are left unread? Means you know the total number of pages in a book, then you know how many pages Ram has read. Now you have to find out the number of pages left unread. Okay? So first statement will be number of pages in a book is equal to 210 let's come to second statement number of pages ram has read is equal to 180 now children we will arrange these numbers under the column of ones tens and hundreds so in number 210 zero will be placed at the ones place one will be placed at the tens place and two will be placed at the hundreds place then let's come to the next number 180 Again, zero will be placed at the ones place. Eight will be placed at the tens place, and one will be placed at the hundreds place. Now, children, we will start subtracting from the last digit that is ones. Zero minus zero is equal to zero. Now, let's come to the tens digit. Now, one minus eight. Children, is it possible to subtract eight from one? No. So, what we will do? We will take borrow from two. Become one, and in place of tens, one will become eleven. Now we can easily subtract eleven minus eight. Yes, eleven minus eight is equal to three. Now let's come to hundred digit. One minus one is equal to zero. So then we got thirty as a difference, and we can write answer as thirty pages are left unread. It's now let's come to another question. A fruit seller had 335 mangoes. He sold 180 mangoes out of them. How many mangoes are left unsold? So children in this problem sir, you know the total number of mangoes and then you know how many mangoes fruit seller had sold. Yes. Now children you have to find out the number of mangoes that are left unsold. write the first statement number of mangoes a fruit seller had is equal to 355 let's come to second statement number of mangoes he sold out is equal to 180 now we will arrange these numbers under the column of ones tens and hundred now we will start subtracting look at the ones digit 5 minus 0 is equal to 5 now let's come to tens column children can we subtract 8 from 5 is it possible no so we will take borrow from the hundreds column that is from 3 and 3 will become 2 and 5 will become 15 now we can subtract 15 minus 8 is equal to 7 now in hundreds column 3 has reduced to 2 We will subtract one from two. So two minus one is equal to one. What we got as a difference? One hundred and seventy-five. Now, children, we can write answer as one hundred seventy-five mangoes are left unsold. Now, let's come to another question. On a rainy day, one ninety children did not come to school. If there are three fifty children in the school. children came to the school in this question we know the total number of children in our school yes then we know how many children did not come to school now we have to find out the number of children came to the school yes so we will write the first statement as number of children in the school is equal to 350 then let's come to another statement number of children did not come to school 
is equal to 190. Now we will subtract these numbers. 350 minus 190. So let's come to ones digit. 0 minus 0 will be equal to 0. Let's come to tens column. 5 minus 9. Children, can we subtract 9 from 5? No. So what we will do? We will take borrow from the hundreds column. That is from 3. Now 3 will reduce to 2, and 5 will become 15. Now we can easily subtract 15 minus 9. Now 15 minus 9 will be equal to 6. Now let's come to the hundreds digit. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So what we got as a difference? 160. Now we can write answer as 160 children came to the school. Children, I hope you have learned how to write statements and how to solve problem sums. We have practiced so many problem sums of two digit and three digit both and without borrowing and with borrowing. So I hope you have understood nicely now children keep practicing and keep learning stay at home thank you